Hi my golden friend, this is a game of Vidit and Sharia Mamadiorov in which Vidit made a huge blunder to give up the game and I want to discuss why he blundered. And also Mamadiorov finished the game with a very nice finish, photo finish, and I want to show that photo finish of Mamadiorov. The game is Italian game, if you remember, Dovuf and Vidit also played Italian game against each other. And I don't discuss too much about the opening and you can see one of the traps I show in Italian games. But there is a point in this opening, this d5 move, in this move, we did spend around 40 minutes, no, 45 minutes, uh, to think what to respond. And this was a source of uh, spending a lot of time on uh, one move and then getting into time trouble later, especially where he blunders. So we go forward, but we did develops um, very well and that long thinking pays off. He managed to get a better position compared to Mamadiorov. Really better position, very aggressive position, very nice style that I like it. And at this position, we did, did a very nice job of sacrificing a bishop for a pawn on h6. And the point is that black cannot take this bishop because then the rook is gonna, if you say that I want to save this rook, uh, I want to uh, give it at least for knight, then we take it and it's not the end because the knight is also gonna, if you try to move the knight away, we block the queen pass and say we want to mate, if you take, we take and you should take to prevent the mate. So this is why Mamadiorov didn't take back the bishop, instead he simply took the d pawn. And we did here, did the huge blunder here, we did have to retreat the bishop and no, game was good for we did and he was plus one, but it's very complicated game. Instead, we did play queen g4, and this uh, move threatens to mate. For example, if you don't, uh, if you try to defend the mate by, for example, bringing the piece in front, then you lose a queen or lots of pieces, and there is no way to survive this game. So, but there is a very uh, simple refutation for this attack of Vidit that Mamadiyar played very quickly, just um, forked the knight and the queen, and now queen defends the pawn on g7 backward. You see, the queen on the d4 defends the pawn on g7. And the game continued after this blunder, game continued by Vidit giving up a piece, but he is a seal of a pawn and has a better pawn structure and can try a little bit but uh, it is a just it is just a struggle but let's go to the final step of the game when the Mamadiorov did a very nice photo finish in the game and then discuss why we did made such a blunder this is the photo finish of the game and we did resign notice that you cannot take this one because bishop comes in and if you try to save the rook, it doesn't help because this is a mate. And if you don't take this one, what you want to do, you want to attack the rook. It doesn't matter, it takes the knight and if you take, takes and then win the rook. So why we did blunder at that position? I believe there are three factors involved. First, uh, we did was of course in a time trouble. Without time trouble, nobody makes blunder basically. If you have enough time, you don't make a blunder. But this wasn't the only reason. The game, the position was very complicated. If it wasn't playing active, he was going to lose the queenside pawns and then losing the game. So he would try to play active, but he didn't expect this simple knight no, pawn move. And the third, and I think the most important factor, I believe, is that we are getting close to the end of the tournament and people lose their power and they don't have enough stamina to continue concentrated all the time. And this is why we see more blunders in the, uh, all over the board, uh, all over the place from every player. So let me know your opinion and write it in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and to help to grow this channel together and discuss interesting topics in the top level chess master games see you next time bye